The Africa Center of Excellence in Data Science, ACEDS, is best at the College of Business and Economics at the University of Rwanda. It is a World Bank funded center of excellence that started in October 2016 after a competitive selection process. The center came up to address a gap in applied statistics and to build capacity in data analysis and big data. The field of data is quite new and there aren't other universities in the region offering it yet. Currently we have five specializations, data mining, econometrics, biostatistics, demography and actuarial sciences. The center has new programs, good facilities and qualified staff and visiting experts from other countries to teach and to supervise. Students and faculty attend exchange programs at other universities. For example, they've sent a PhD student to Rochester University of Technology in the US and to the University of Pretoria in South Africa. In turn, SCEDS has hosted a PhD student and a postdoctoral fellow from Harvard University. There has been staff exchange with Makere University as well. The visiting faculty meet and share experiences with students. The center has a memorandum of understanding with Microsoft, which allows for the students to attend Microsoft's online courses free of charge. Students come from different countries, including Ethiopia, DRC, Kenya, Uganda, and Tanzania. Sandile is from Swaziland, and he has big career prospects after his master's in data science, specializing in biostatistics. In my country, it's a lot. I don't know. It's a lot because, um, as I said before, NGOs, they are main NGOs, so they are driving uh, the information industry in terms of new innovations and everything. So I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll go back home and consult. At the same time, I would want to just uh, spread the word that I got. So I would maybe go back, to, uh, go back to lecturing or so. So those are my options. In a few years' time, the center hopes to be the go-to place for data scientists from Rwanda and the region, as policy recommendations and more sectors use big data and data analytics to support evidence-based decision-making. And we are sure that in five years, this target will be achieved.